It's time to tell you the truth about how I make chords and melodies. Now I've made many videos on this topic and I still find them very useful. But the truth is that I make melodies in a completely different way that I never showed you before. It is definitely harder to learn and that's why I'm also going to show you an alternative way that is way easier to get started with so you can try something right away. So let's get started and also this video is brought to you by Skillshare that has some amazing classes on music theory but I'm going to talk about that later. So anyways the way I make melodies is by ear. Now this is not the most exciting way, but that's how I do it. So let's open up piano roll and let me show you how I do it. So I have a piano sound here and basically I just start with choosing a random note. One thing that can help you a lot is going here, going to view, key labels, all notes. That way you can see all of the notes right here. So to get started, let's just choose a note like D. And then you can either make bass notes or start with chords. So the way I do it is I hum the melody or hum the chords in my head or out loud and then just go with it. So I want something like do, 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 do. And those are the notes. So not everybody can do this, but if you practice a lot, you definitely can reach a point where you can just hum a note and then find that note in piano roll. Now, if I hum a note, I can't really tell right away which one it is. So say like, Doo! so I don't know which one it is. And it's A3. So to practice this, you can try humming a note and then trying to find it in piano roll. Now, once you can do this, you can definitely hum a melody and then transfer it into piano roll. Another way you can practice is by listening to other music and then trying to recreate it in piano roll. So let's say I have this song from Fadrat. Let's listen to it. now let's try to recreate all these chords. So the best thing to get started with this is to focus on the bass notes. So let's see. So those are the bass notes. So try to listen to songs and figure out the bass notes. So let's try to find those. Again, I don't know which one it is right away. I need to play it before I can tell. Some people can tell right away which note is playing. So it's E. So I think it's these notes right here. E. So let's just try to put them in here. And you could do the same with the melodies, like do 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 do. But the melody starts before, so it's like this. Let's enable the swing. So it would be like this. So I think it would be like this. And yeah, that is how I really make melodies, just by having this ability to tell which note is which. So whenever I imagine it in my head, I can transfer it into the piano roll. So to get back to it, this is what I started with. Now, how would I go from here? I just create chords. Now, to create a chord, it's actually super simple. You just choose the note you started with, like D3. I put it octave higher as well, just so we have a better chord and create a chord like this. So this is a minor chord. You can tell it's a minor chord when you see I skipped two notes and then three notes and put a note in between those. So you skip two, then put a note on the third one, and then you skip three and put a note on the fourth one. That's a minor chord. It always has the same shape. Now a major chord would be putting this note one higher. So in major chord you skip three notes, then put a note on the fourth one, and then you skip two notes and put a note on the third one. So minor, major. Now let's just Fill in the rest of the chords. And as you can see right here, I first had a minor chord, which can work, but I think major chord works better here. So when do you put a minor chord and when do you put a major chord? Well, I cannot really explain that other than I try both and whichever sounds better, I put that one in. So that's how I make simple chords. If I want to add more notes, I can. And again, I just go by ear.
just like that. Try different notes, whatever sounds good to your ears will work because your ears actually do not like sounds that are out of harmony. So the chances are when you try a few different variations, you will decide which one sounds the best. Another thing you can do, let's delete these notes, is to inverse some chords. That's a really simple technique. Now you can see these chords are way low. So what we can do is hold control, select the note and hold shift if you want to select multiple notes like these lower ones from the chord, maybe even this one, and then hold control and arrow up to put them octave up. Now it's the same note, it's just octave higher. So it's still the same chord, but the notes are in different order. Now they will sound a bit better. Now what you can do again, if they are still low, you can grab these lower notes and put those octave higher. Sounds way better even though it's the same chord and the same notes, they are in different octaves which makes them sound a lot better in some context. So that is the way I make melodies. I never showed this in a tutorial because I don't think it's that useful because you still have to learn it and the way you learn it is either by listening to a lot of music and trying to figure out the melodies and the chords starting with the bass notes or literally to have a practice where a note is played and then you have to guess which note is playing. So you can try that as well. That being said, I will show you an alternative alternative way to make melodies without having this skill. So you can get started with that. The alternative way will actually help you with this method as well. So try to get started with what I'm going to show you right now. But if you really want to learn how to make chords and melodies by ear, then check out our sponsor today, which is Skillshare. Now Skillshare is a platform where you can learn new skills, including music production. Now there are tons of classes on music production that explain everything in detail and are great for beginners and advanced users. And if you are really interested in making chords and melodies and learning music theory, then we can check out the music theory tab here and see many classes that will teach you exactly that. I would recommend this class by Kai F. Play the piano by ear. Learn by doing master course. This is an excellent class with tons of lessons if you want to get started with playing or creating music by ear. Now he does teach you this on a piano but if you don't have a piano don't worry you can just use a piano from your dough like in FL Studio you have piano roll. So I definitely recommend this to anyone who is interested in learning that technique. That being said the first thousand people who click the link below in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. That means you get access to this class and all the other classes on Skillshare for one free month. So check it out, link is below in the description. Now let's get back to the video. So we are back and now let me show you the alternative way to make melodies. We are back in piano roll and again, as I mentioned before, go to view, key labels and make sure all notes are enabled so you can see all the notes nicely and let's get started creating a melody. So in previous videos I showed you how you can go to view, key highlighting and do automatic and go for from there. Now I think even a better way to do this is to choose a scale yourself. So the two main scales are major and minor and this is the most basic one, major Ionian or whatever. And then you have minor natural. So those are the main scales. Now to select this scale, make sure to use the right click so this window doesn't close. We're gonna choose major and then choose your key. So let's stay on C. Now if you choose another key like D, you can see in the background the grid is changing the grid of the piano roll and it is showing you the notes that you can use in this key. Now I'm gonna choose C, A major and then click away and now you can see all the highlighted notes are the notes you can use in C major. Now these darker notes you cannot use in C major. This is a little limiting because sometimes you can go out of key for an interesting melody but if you are just starting I think sticking to the key will be just fine. So now again let's choose the notes we start with. Just choose from the highlighted notes. Let's say A those notes were chosen randomly but they will do just fine. So now we have our bass notes. Now let's create the chords. Now before I showed you that you can just count the spaces and create a simple major or minor chord but you can also use the stamp tool right here. So go here Again, use the right click so the window doesn't close. Disable only one because if you choose only one you only put one chord in and then you have to go back to this window but if you disable it you can put multiple chords in. And now let's choose our chord and let's choose a major chord. Now we have major chord selected and what we're going to do is just put the chords one octave higher than our notes. So we have A3 here, then we're going to put a chord on A4. Then we have C4 here, then we're going to put a note on C5. Then F4 and D4. And if you make a mistake like this, you can just move it because it's grouped together. And now we have chords ready and they are all major chords, which is probably not what we want, but I'm going to show you how to solve that in a second. So let's play it. So right off the bat, you can see, maybe you didn't see it, but this note 
is not on the highlighted grid. That means this chord is not in C major because it's not using the notes from C major. So this can happen to multiple chords. Let's check. Yeah, this one also not on the highlighted grid. So what we can do about this is we can either select all these chords, go here, go to group and ungroup them. That way we can move the notes and move them on the highlighted part. But there is actually an easier way to do it. Now, that being said, this will delete your lower notes. So we don't need them for now. We're going to add them later. But just go here to the settings and go to limit and choose your scale here that you chose before. So it was C and it was major, the same as we did in the view scale highlighting, we chose C major. So just make sure to choose the same one. And as you can see, the chords were moved. So now they are no longer on the darker parts. They are all on the highlighted notes. So it will transpose all the notes that are not in the key you chose here, and it will put them to the closest key that is on the scale. So if we play it now, we cannot click here, but we can uh, play it with spacebar. Now the chords are in C major, which is amazing because it did all the work for you. You just chose chords, you put all major chords, and then you simply put a limiter on it or transposer, and it will fix the chords and put them in the right key. Now you can also snap these above, which means it will put the note that is on the darker part to the closest highlighted note above. Under, it will put it to the highlighted part under the darker note, and then alternate it switches in between those. So under looks the best. It seems like all the chords are correct. So we can accept that. And now our chords are just right. And yeah, that is the simplest way to make chord progressions super easy. It's even better than in my previous videos because you can all just use major chords and then use the limiter to fix it. Now, how would you go about creating a melody? Now, again, you just use the highlighted notes. So let's try. And here you can actually use the previous technique where you hum the melody in your head and then transfer the notes in the piano roll. This way you'll know that the notes you are humming are correct. And if they end up on the darker parts, then you know they are not correct. So this way you can actually practice your ear while still being able to create nice chords and melodies right away. So if we put another note in here and go back to limit, it will fix it as well. So you can use this for your melodies also. And then we can actually make these chords more interesting by adding more notes. Another thing you can try doing is using different chords from here. So we chose major chords, but you also can use suspended chords and then put them on the note of your choosing. So yeah, this is how you can play around with this technique, again using major or minor chords or more complex chords, and then just make sure to go to limit and it will fix any problems that might be there. And this has, of course, some limitations, but you can definitely get started with this right away for some more simplicity. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Skillshare, link is below. And also check out my Staple Sounds platform where you only pay once and you get access to all of our sample packs and new sample packs forever. So check it out, links are below and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.